are changing out the vlog style, the VLG style. <laughs> As you guys can tell from my voice, <clears throat> I'm a little congested right now. I am a tad bit under the weather, but that is not the excuse or the reason for my absence, which we will get into later. But today's video is a little bit more adventurous. Right now we have a few things planned. We are currently going to do a few things on the SI if we can get to it. And as of currently, we're actually heading to a canyon run. So I have the GoPro already set up over there on the side. I know before in the past I've done like point of view videos on canyon runs. This one's going to be a tad bit different since we are going to be finally reviewing the Acuity Shifter. Let us play the song of our people. So it looks like before we go on the canyon run, uh, we're gonna need to get some gas. Ooh. You already know. And earlier, there was a car here. So, when you gotta fill up the 85, you just kinda park a little awkward. <laughs> All right, now that we officially are filled up, now we can hit the canyon run. Yep, we're finished. So we're finally on the canyon run, and today I really want to talk about this Acuity Shifter. I've had it for quite a while now. I was supposed to do a review on it a while back, actually, last year. And obviously last year was quite a rough year. Uh, we blew the engine, we blew the trans. I've had the car for maybe three months out of the entire year. So I never even had the chance to really even review this shifter. So today, we're finally getting to that. Now starting off, my settings. My current settings on this Acuity shifter are at its lowest or like the least stiffest. Um, I've played around with it, I've had the most stiff, I've had medium, and now I'm at the most least. And I'm, have to, I'm gonna have to say I like the most least the best, um, I, but that's preference to me, that's what I feel is the most comfortable. Um, aside from that, just the whole shifter in general coming from, wow, there are a lot of rocks. I don't know if you guys can hear that on there, but there are a ton of rocks. So coming from how sturdy this thing is, I mean, wow, it, it barely moves. There's definitely no play. Uh, you get locked right into gear, and I definitely feel that. We're going down a third now. And especially for something like this, it really gives you that confidence to let you kind of know that you're in gear. So, Acuity, good job for that. Aside from just the functions of it, um, aesthetically, it's my favorite piece in the entire car. <laughs> uh, as you guys can tell, I didn't put a boot around it. And that was mainly because, I mean, you bought this piece and you kind of want to show it off. You kind of want to show that there is something underneath that boot that has a bigger value to it. And when people are able to see the entire unit below, it really adds that nice aesthetic to it. So, going back down to third, we're taking a turn here. Now, I'm still on Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, at least on the front. And man, these hook. These are probably my favorite tires of all time. And very, very, very satisfied with them. They take turns, no problem. But that's what we're not talking, we're here to talk about. Going down to second. Take some of these. I'm gonna try and take it easy. I'm not trying to go full hard around these, but I do wanna show you guys the functionality of this shifter and how easy it is actually to get through the gears. Uh, especially doing something like this. Gosh, this car's popping a lot. Woo. I kind of miss doing this stuff. Probably could have gone down a second there, but it's alright. So as you guys can see, going through the shifts is very seamless, and I'm really locked right into the gear. It doesn't pop out, it won't give me that, that grind. I mean, it really makes sure that you're solid. And with me choosing one of the loose settings, it's a lot more, I feel like, room definitely to go back and really reveal that you're getting into the full gear. Uh, before I had it on one of the stiffest settings, and it, trust me, it was short. It was like, pop, you're in third, pop, you're in fourth. And <laughs> was not trying to go back to that, so. I did kind of loosen it up, and now that it's officially broken in, I've got to say, it's 
it's definitely, definitely one of my favorite mods. Now, especially a good combo too, this shifter, or sorry, not the shifter, this shift knob is my personal favorite. Actually, before this one, I had the Skunk too, and that one weighed a lot more. This is a tad bit lighter, but it's funny because with this whole entire unit, it feels heavy. And I've realized compared to my Skunk 2 shifter, or shift knob, that this shift knob is a lot longer and a tad bit wider. And I just feel like when it comes to putting my hand around it, it grips perfect. Like, especially when I'm going through the gears, it just, it feels solid. Now with the Skunk 2, the Skunk 2 is a little bit skinnier and not as wide. It was more of a, a ball shape in a sense. And, <coughs> excuse me. With that, it was harder to kind of grab onto the knob and really throw it into gear because I felt like not my full hand was being taken over. <coughs> God, my throat's kind of dry. Now, as I was saying, I felt like not the full gear was being taken over. And so, or the full knob. I felt like a part of me, whenever I would grab the shift knob, I'd be touching the, uh, the stick that the knob would attach to. And with this, I mean, it's a full, like, I'm my whole hands on it, and I feel confident that because my whole hands on it, I can easily plop it over to gear. I'm not touching just the knob and, like, piece of the shifter. It's actually being fully covered and being able to throw it right into gear for me. Front splitter is A-OK, -okay, but we're gonna take a picture. So currently, going through the canyon runs, there's a lot of areas that you can take some sick photos. I'm not trying to get on private property or anything, but, <clears throat> gosh, my throat. But this was a pretty nice spot. I wanna go ahead and get this. There's a lot of depth, you guys can see here with the SI. And uh, 
I've been kind of like dry on photos. I haven't really been doing a lot of photography lately. So I'm just trying to get some nice shots real quick of the SI. We might go to another location and then we'll see how it goes. We are home. Okay, so we're officially home now. I did pick up myself some nice Jersey mics. My favorite, the number eight. This is literally the only thing I've bu I'm about to eat today. I haven't ate anything at all. So about to chomp down on some Jersey mics. But before I let you guys go, before we end this whole video, I did want to explain why I missed the last two weeks. Also, we were going to work on the SI, but I have plans later tonight, so I don't think we have any time for that. I do want to basically touch base back on the center console here and just work on some wiring that I did down there earlier. We have to just kind of tuck up some stuff. And then also the second thing is to check out the front bumper. If you guys saw when we took off the license plate frame, there's like three holes on one side and one hole on the other. Whichever mechanic at Honda was putting on the frame, I don't know how you messed up and made three holes on one side. But regardless, I gotta cover them up. I gotta make it look pretty in the front. We'll do that another day. Let's talk about these last two weeks. All right, so these last two weeks I've missed. I was kind of gone, I was MIA. And I know I do this time to time, and this time it was mainly because I kind of ran into a creator's block. My thing is quality over quantity as well, and I didn't want to just post out a video that I felt like was nothing I really put my, my work in or, or took time to make. You know, I didn't want to just rush post just to post, basically. So, for these past two weeks, I've kind of recollected myself, trying to find that creativity in myself again, and on top of that, kind of shift it with the channel and kind of change out the styling that we're kind of doing with vlogging. So that's why this one is a little different compared to other videos. I know I mainly do install videos and stuff too, but since we're kind of on a halt with the SI, you guys have to understand I recently moved. We've built the engine, we've rebuilt the trans all last year, so that's a lot of money that's been thrown. and. I'm not rich, I don't have all the money in the world. Again guys, all my hard earned money is going into the car as much as I can. So since we're taking that halt, that break for the time being, I'm thinking to myself, what can I do to still entertain you guys, you know? You guys are still here, subscribe to me, and I appreciate all the love and support that you guys share with me, especially right now too, I'm trying to work on the more um, business aspect of merchandise. So getting you guys some merch that you can, can um, represent with me, you know, and, and me just sharing that love and support out there to you guys. So with all that being said, these past two weeks have just been a, 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 a sort of a mental break for myself to kind of recollect and kind of vision exactly the route of this channel. There are going to be more projects to come that I do want in the future, but I have to think of the moment right now. We're not going to be diving into all that stuff. So that being said, if you see some vlog content and you're not really that pleased with it, I apologize. Guys, I'm just shifting slowly. There's still going to be cars, cars, cars content all out there, so I'm definitely keeping, keeping it car oriented, but showing you guys a piece of my life. Um, I know you guys support me, I know you guys love me, and are down to understand that stuff, and I know there's going to be some people out there that are not really happy with it. I apologize, but I hope you guys enjoy this new kind of style of edit and this new kind of journey into 2020 as I shift it into showing more of my personal life, as well as keeping it with the car. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I am so thankful for each and every one of you guys. We are honestly so close to 10K. And um, yeah, I will see you guys. We're gonna try and post two times a week. So either again this week or next week, I'm gonna try my best guys, but I am challenging myself. So I'll see you guys again later on this week for another post. But as always, family, you already know, keep grinding, stay humble, and yeah, that. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I'll see you guys later.